Hello YouTube, this is the third part of the Mantle tutorial. Let's get started. So let me go into my player blueprint. This part we're going to do the third part of the sequence. And for this part we, we, we need a new function. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it, uh, let's call it check uh, tutorial check mantle room. So what this is going to do, basically, it's going to get your target location, so the location you want to be in, and if it's, it's going to create a collision that is similar to your capsule component to check if it's blocking anything or not. Uh, if it is blocking anything, it's going to check if, uh, if you can crouch under there, so if it's tight place, you're going to crouch in it. If it's like even below your crouch uh, height, it's not going to let you do it. So I need, I'm going to click here, I'm going to add an input. This is going to be the target location. It's going to be a vector. And here I'm going to create a sphere trace by channel. I'm going to call my capsule component. I'm going to get capsule radius, get capsule half height. And right now you can just plug in radius to radius. <clears throat> and we're going to use the capsule half height in a second. So I'm going to split, split struct pin in my target location. And I'm going to create two make vector nodes. So one, two. From the Z value here, I'm going to add floats. That's one, that's two. So from the bottom one, I am going to add 15. So what this is, is why am I adding 15 to my Z value? Because if you start your spe spear trace from zero, from directly from the ground, it's always going to hit. So that's why I'm adding a little bit of height to that. Um, you have to experiment with this. You have to find the, the good value for your capsule half height or, or the capsule radius. So just experiment with it. Whatever suits you, it's okay. Uh, plug that into one of them. We're going to plug in the capsule half height to the other one, and it's going to be the other Z value. For the X and Y, you can just plug in the target locations. Okay, so the bottom one, the one with the 15, is going to be the end, uh, the uh, start location, sorry. So we're, we're tracing upwards from down. And the other one is going to be the end location. Okay, so we're going to break. Hit results here. Nor boolean. So we don't want anything to be hitting or overlapping. Create a branch here. Plug in the branch. And so the crouch thing. So we're gonna, if it's false, if it's hitting anything, we're, we're gonna check the height. So we're gonna create another branch from false. We're going to, from the break result, results, get distance. And if distance is smaller or equal to, so here you're going to put in your crouch height. For me, it's around, I guess, 35. I'm just gonna put in 35. Or I don't, I don't really know how this works. It might be like half of your capsule half height. So I guess you can just call this and multiply it by 0.5 or just divide it by two um, and plug that in here. Um, but I'm just gonna fit in 35. So if it's smaller or equal to 35, I'm going to call my crouch function. Sorry, I think I explained this wrong. So uh, if this is false, 
we're gonna check if it's smaller than 35 if the distance if so if it's a hit we're gonna uh, check if it's smaller than 35 if it is we're gonna crouch if it's not uh, we're going to return node and in this node we need an output so we're gonna create a boolean output it's gonna be uh, has room so if has room is going to be returning false. And if this is an hit, sorry, I mean if this is true, we're going to get player camera manager. We're going to play camera shake. Alright, so so that's gonna work for us. And you can connect the crouch here as well. So at the end we're always gonna play camera shake. And when you're done with that, we're going to return node again. And we're going to return it true. All right. So let's create the uh, camera shake. So I already have a shake here, but uh, you can go into Blueprint class. Um, you're going to get this window. Here you can uh, create, you can uh, open this all classes thing. You can type in shake. And here's camera shake. You click on that. Click on select. Now you have a shake blueprint i'm going to call it tutorial mantle shake open that up so what i like to do here is you have rotation rotation oscillation open that open roll uh roll is the x value so your character's head is going to roll the amplitude i'm going to put in 30 to 25. the frequency is going to be one so it's going to go once and then come back and that's it and I'm going to start from the zero offset. It's going to be single in instance. The duration is going to be around 0.4 seconds. So this is going to be the time your character will be um, mantling. For the blend in time, 0.3. For the blend out time, 0.1. So what this is, is um, so your character's head is going to roll and in 0.3 seconds it's going to reach the apex it's going to reach the end of the roll and then for the rest 0.1 second it's going to go back to its initial position now i'm not sure if this affects it but i'm going to do this again as well 0 0.3 0.1 and that's it for the shake so from the play camera shake here and the function you can select your shake and that's it for this function Okay, so we're back in the tutorial mantle function. From the third sequence, we're going to call tutorial check mantle room. Mm, what is our target location? It is, where is it? It's going to be target location. We're going to create a branch. And here, I'm going to uh, get my character movement. I'm going to set movement mode. If you don't do this, your character will be able to move around while mantling. So find this to be better off if you do this. And after we do this, we're just going to return node. OK, so cam mantle, true. The target location, what's that going to be? We're going to create a vector here. So type in make vector for that. And we're also going to get our target location. We're going to split struct pin here. And because the location of the capsule is in the middle of it, uh, you're going to add half of the capsule component's height to the z value. So you don't, don't get stuck in the ground. So float plus float, capsule components, get capsule half height. I'm going to multiply this by 0.5. So I'm getting the half of it. Uh, when, I, when I do like multiplication, I think it's simpler than dividing stuff. You know, 0.5 is half of it, 0.6 is like 60% of it or whatever. I think that's an easier way to understand things. 
So I'm going to plug that in here. So the Z location plus half the height of the half height. So we're going to create the vector like this. And that is it for this function. So let's create a comment real fast here. Um, check room and mantle. OK. So uh, this function is completely done. Now we're going to call it from our player controller. Or if you have the inputs in your player character directly, you can call it there as well. So I'm going to use my jump input. So when I jump, I am always going to uh, call my mantle, my vault uh, function. So because this is another blueprint, I can't directly call tutorial, mantle, whatever. So I need a reference to my character get player character and whatever your player character is you can cast to it from here cast to so mine is blueprints player and here you don't need to check if the cast is valid or failed you can right click on this you can convert it to pure cast because we already know that our player character in her inherits from the character and it's always valid I mean, it depends on the situation, but for me, it's always going to be valid. So, tutorial, we're going to get the mantle function. I'm going to plug that into my input. I'm going to check if I can mantle or not. If I can, I will, uh, let's see, what am I going to do here? Okay, if it's true, I'm just going to make a timeline. So I'm going to add timeline. Let's call this tutorial mantle. And this is the part you're going to set the time, the length of which your character will start and begin the mantle. So because I set the shake 0.4 seconds, I can go ahead and set this 0.4 as well. I'm going to create a flow track. This is the duration. I'm going to add a key by right clicking. Time 0 is going to be 0. And time 4, point 0.4 is going to be 1. Let's go back. OK, so now we have our timeline. And I want to update my player actor location. So I'm going to get, get a wire here going to set actor location and I'm going to update it on the timeline. Okay, so because I want to interpolate my vector, I'm not directly going to set the location. I'm not going to snap it. I'm going to linear interpolate vector. So learn. The alpha value is going to be the timeline. So 0% is going to be the A vector. 100% is going to be the B vector. Oh, also so the A vector is going to be our actor location. But if I plug this in directly there, it's always going to update the current location of the player, but I only want the starting point. So before I call the timeline, I'm going to create a func uh, variable. Call this initial player position. And it's going to be a vector. And I'm going to set that. So, okay, so I'm going to set that to be the actor location. So I'm going to set this once, and then it's never going to update in the timeline. And the B value is going to be the target location of the tutorial mantle function. All right, so. We're setting the actor location, and once everything is done, we want to set. Uh, we're going to get the character movement. It's usually all the way below here. And we're going to set movement mode. 
to walking or swimming or whatever you have there. Okay, so this should be it. Let's try it out. Okay, so it's right now uh, tracing, debugging. Let's try it out. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, so it's not getting up. So uh, let's make it a little bit higher. And let's see if it's going to crouch or not. Still now? Okay, so I had a couple of problems. I solved them, kind of. So in my... Uh, in my check room function, setting the radius to be a smaller thing seems to be working. So I set it to be 10, then it worked. <laughs> and uh, the second problem is, in the player controller, here in the timeline, instead of playing it, we need to play it from start. So each time this is called, it actually starts from the beginning. Okay, so now let's try it out. So when we... Uh, try to mantle here, it's going to crouch. Okay. Okay, as you can see there, um, it checked a capsule, and then the green part of the capsule is the hit point. And it checked the distance. If it's smaller than 35, it made me crouch. If you like the video, if you find this helpful, uh, subscribe and like the video. Uh, if you want to help me out, you can share the video with people that are interested in Unreal Engine uh, development. Uh, I will really appreciate it if you share the videos, if you subscribe and like my videos, and have a good day.